What it do, what it do, we back in this thing, man. Me and Quan out here picking up the infamous 700. Huh? We got some good work done to this bad boy. So cool. Look at these bags. Look at it. Yeah, buddy. Camera call. Uh, can I keep your interior blue? Yeah, for sure. Look at that there. Oh, so you, you still end up using a different uh, bracket or just the same one? No, same one. Oh, okay. It looks different. Painted, I guess. Yeah. Uh, everything is. Right. Hell yeah. You took the bolts out, filled in the holes, welded this in. This is the helper bag kit that came from Tim Works Fabrication. These are some Firestone bags. So we end up not using them on the blue dually because we went with uh, some 2,600 uh, pound pancake bags that are much better for bigger loads and stuff. So since I had this uh, left over, I decided, man, let's put it on 700 because that's what I want to start using to haul that one car trailer. Whenever I got a small car, average size car, and I don't want to switch the 24 foot off that truck, we can just hook to this and get it uh, get it put up. Well, get it done without no no issues. But this is uh oh. Then we put uh some new shocks on it and shock extenders. I think we might only need it on that one side right there. I changed the angle on the other one. That's why I used it. Okay. It was too. Um... Oh, so you got them on both sides? Yeah. All right. What yeah. I did is this one. I can fit up some so that the angle will fix itself a little. Yes, sir. Shaparro in the building. Y'all know. Hell yeah. I had somebody already uh, message said they hit him up. Somebody's supposed to be bringing you a dually, right? From Philadelphia. From Philadelphia, y'all, for real. Guy called me. He said, man, what you know about him? I said, man, you do good work. I said, man, ain't nobody up there in Philadelphia can do it, man. You're going to spend so much money on transportation. He was like, I don't care. I've seen what he can do. I want him to do it. I was like, all right. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this looks good, man. Yeah, this is much better than them bolts. Hey y'all, from here from here on out, do not waste time bolting in these things like I did. It takes so much damn time. Just find you a good welder like my man right here. Let him weld that shit in, gonna save you so much time. I dread, I dread that. I, I can remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> I ain't never doing that again. Yeah. Man, that's Thanks pretty good. Bit. That's pretty good right there. All right, let me uh get ready to get my ramps out, get ready to get it loaded, man. We're gonna take it on back to the compound. pick you up you know I will
Come on, baby. <laughs> Alright, let's put some straps on this bad boy. And uh we out of here. Well, actually we're finna go get some lunch. Get some lunch and then we got a car meet to go to later apparently. I gotta put them silver ones in first, remember? Alright, we'll be back. I had to show y'all this before we get out of here. This is absolutely nasty. I can never get tired of this color. He said they're doing a coil over and a three link, a four link, three link or four link setup. I can't remember, but with coil overs. Come on, nasty. Killer. Whew. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to drive off, we ain't even strapped it down. Just loaded. I'm, I'm gonna use them, give me them. I'm gonna use the ones in the back of the uh, truck. They're better. Those will work, but I like to use these better. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me let me strap it down. Like I said, I was, got sidetracked looking at that red truck. So we'll holler at y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, we at the house, we made it safe and sound. I got a question for y'all, man. Y'all let me know, because this is gonna be one of the next things we're gonna do. What y'all think about the sliding back window? I think I'm gonna take this out initially, right now. I think I'm gonna take this out and go with a one piece. I think it's a cleaner look. Um, but I've also never ran with this multiple uh, piece window right here. There's only a one piece on both of those trucks, but you know, this truck is the only one we've actually driven. So one piece on there. So I think I'm gonna take it out. Um, probably less chance of leaks with a one piece. And like I said, it's just a cleaner look. So I think, cause I wanna get the windows tinted real soon. Um, but of course I need to figure that out before I do that. So drop a comment, man. Let me know what y'all think. Sliding window, multiple piece window or just take it out and put a one piece. Drop a comment, man, let me know. This might be a short video, I'm not sure. This phone's always ringing, y'all. That's my buddy Jay. Hit him back in a second. But uh, I don't even know what I was saying. This might be a short video, just picking this up because I got to figure out what I want to do next because I don't I actually don't know what I want to do next whether it's the windows tinting windows or changing the interior out or what and I'm not sure how long it'll take me to figure all that out um I also need to paint the frame even though it looked like Shaparo painted quite a bit of the frame actually it looked like he painted damn near everything that really mattered so I might be able to go ahead and put the bed back on and uh, get it looking like a truck again but uh I'm not sure I just got a few things got to put the center caps on um uh all the way with all the little caps with the little chevy sign i like that nice touch but yeah this might be a short video i ain't sure if it is hope y'all enjoy it if not it is what it is but that's it for now we got her home and uh still got work to do but we're gonna do it i'll let y'all at home peace what a do what a do man we in this thing out here in the evening time it's about to get dark I gotta show y'all something, man. I feel kind of stupid. But I gotta show you something right here that I just tested and I think could potentially save me a lot of time. So for months and months, y'all have heard me talk about running the battery cables from the battery underneath. They got an Anderson plug mounting it back here somewhere and hooking this battery, this winch battery to it. Well, you know, the winch is right here. Battery's right here in the toolbox. And I have this Anderson plug energizer cable set up, hooked to the battery. And I was gonna run the other end from this battery to here, plug them in, and then you got full power on the winch, right? If y'all been watching the channel for a few months, y'all probably have heard me talk about that a few times. Well, I have an interesting development, as y'all can see. It's Diamond C trailer, which is supposed to be one of the top brands on the market. You got Diamond C, you got PJ trailers. 
You got Load Trail. You got some nice brands out there. Look what I just found. There's two wires right here by the plug. Now it's getting dark, so hopefully y'all can see this, but there's two wires following this plug. So this is the plug. That's the seven pin plug. You know, it goes up here, breaks off, goes to your breakaway box, which I just tested it. We're fully charged. Then you follow this wire. And it comes here, it comes here, and it comes down. And it comes into here. I got my winch wires running down alongside it. So look, there's two wires right here, man, with terminal ends on them. And I never noticed it. So I just took my test light right here, as y'all can see. And I put it on negative on the battery. And look what we got. Look at there. Take it and put it on the positive. See if we got ground. If I can get in there. Look at there. That's crazy. Is it is it that simple? Is it as simple as powering this winch and this battery through this plug, through these two terminals right here? That's crazy, man. And I tested it. When you unplug, when you unplug the plug, they don't have power. No power, no ground. But with the plug in, truck running and truck not running, they are uh they got power so would that be the same originally i was thinking well if i run two big old battery cables from the front to the back and use this that's more power but 12 volts is 12 volts so i mean can i just scrap that whole plan get rid of this take this out and just put me two uh wires in here with ring terminals crimp it in this side put the ring terminals on the posts and anytime this truck is hooked up, there's power in the winch. Is it that simple? I'm not a wiring guru, man. I'm learning this as I go. But that kind of just shocked me just then. Anyway, y'all drop a comment, tell me what y'all think. Uh, that's an interesting development right there. That might save me a lot of time and money because them kits, them Energizer cable kits are about $90 a piece. I've already bought two. So, let me know, man. Let me know what y'all think. Is, is that is it that simple? Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Just wanted to give y'all that update. Peace.